Tithing back in biblical times talked about the crops and about uh, animals and uh, harvesting. It represented about 10% of the wage. So the labor represents your tithing. And then all money does, it just represents what you can give towards your labor. So these days it's 10% of your income. I started at this church like about four and a half years ago. When I first came in, life was going good, everything was going well, but there was something missing. I started to see where I needed to be able to contribute. And through that my labor that I contributed, I started seeing benefits in my family. Basically, we look back at the giving spirit of what the what tithing does is that you're giving and not expecting a return. Other people can see it, other people want to be a part of it, and there's all types of benefits that the Lord can provide you because of it. Tithing is important. You know, I like the way he ended that. There's many benefits when we give. There's many benefits when we come to God with a generous heart. You see, Abraham, when he gave his tithe to Melchizedek, king of Salem and priest of the Most High God, when he gave his tithe to him, he did it for two reasons. One, to let everyone there know, and all the foreign kings that were present, that he depended upon God and God alone. And he wanted to let them know that he served the one and only true God. Last week we talked about David and how he understood the principle of ownership. Well, Abraham understood another principle. A principle of, of, of depending upon God. Think about this. Understanding this principle takes a whole load off of us. When we put it in God's hands, we don't have to figure out the answer. When we rely on God, it's not up to us alone to figure out how to get through our situation. We need to learn to depend upon God. The last illustration here this morning. I see people look at giving to the church one of two ways. People who give and I want you a picture of a picture of a pie. Get that pie in your head. In your head. It can be any tie for favorite. I'm not trying to make you hungry. There's two ways to look at tithing. One way is to give God the last piece of the pie. The other way is to give God the first piece. Now listen to this. The last piece says this. God, I have to pay my bills first. I have to make sure that I have enough money for my needs, my wants. I have to know that I have enough <coughs> to give to you. The first piece says this, God, I know you are in control. And I am completely dependent upon you. I'll give you the first piece of the pie, or I know you will make sure the rest will be more than enough, more than sufficient to meet my needs. The key question here is this. Is God your provider? Or are you your provider? Now, Pastor, I don't want to think about that. If I think about it that way, church, I said it last week, I'm going to say it again. God doesn't need your money. But God chose to use his people to support his ministry. And he chose to do this in such a way so he could put so much more back in their hands. God's blessing will come when we live a generous life. Amen. So again, let me ask you, is God your provider? Or are you your provider? If you say God's my provider, then we don't worry about anything else. But if you're your provider, you worry about if you're going to have a job tomorrow. You worry about this economy. Is it going to ever get any better? <clears throat> Can I tell you? If God's in charge of taking care of me, I don't have to worry about the economy. 
Now, I do have to be smart. I do have to do my part. I do have to work. You know what? I do what he tells me to do. Then I let him take care of the rest. Can I tell you, there was a time in our life when Gene and I were in college. We were making next to nothing. Paying our way through college. And I remember sitting in a Sunday school class. And it was, it was a class that we did a discussion on finances. And they broke us out in the group. They said, come up with a figure of, of the, the, the least amount possible for, for, for a couple to live on. You know that amount they came up with? Was about three times what we were making. You know, there were times where the numbers did not add up. But God was faithful. We never went without. I'm not saying we had a whole lot. But God blessed us. You know, God's math is better than all math. Let's put things back in God's hands. And learn to be dependent on you. Heavenly Father, I love you today. I thank you for your word. I pray you open our eyes to leaning on you, Lord. Not just with our finances, but with our life. With our problems, our worries, our hurts, our pains, our sicknesses, our illnesses. Whatever it may be, Lord. Let us stop relying on ourselves and start relying 